the U.S. Barbecue Association World Championship. Changing the landscape of barbecue. Get your contest in the World Championship. As we go into the wild blue yonder, here are the rules to qualify for the contest. A true World Championship. We are here with the U.S. Barbecue Association. And folks, we've started our own U.S. Barbecue Invitational World Championship. Now, the way this World Championship is going to work is, hey, if you get six grand championships, you get into the World Championship. Uh, you got to have 20 teams at the contest you're at. Any contest, any sanctioned body, it doesn't matter. The United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, Russia, it don't matter if you got 20 teams at your contest in Brazil, then you can qualify for the U.S. Barbecue Association World Championship. Now, if you're a team in the United States and you win a grand championship, then you're going to get a draw in that state's draw. Now, we're going to have 50 state draw. Every state in the United States uh, will have their own draw to get into the U.S. Barbecue World Championship Invitational. I mean, uh, so we're going to do all 50 states. Now, you can get up to five draws per state. So if you went out and you got five grand championships in your state, then you get five draws into your state's entry. Now, uh, if you get six, of course, you know, you're automatically in. Now, there won't be any lifetime bids into the U.S. Bar US Barbecue Invitational World Championship. You'll have to qualify every year. Now, we've decided, so after we get done drawing for that state, then we'll go with the next state's draws. Now, folks, this will all be televised. We're not going to do anything in secrecy. You'll be able to see everything that happens. Now, if you're in Canada, we're going to do you the same way. Here's a GC. So, one GC, name of team in the Canadian province. Okay? If you want a grand championship in Canada, you get a draw. Now, if you win five grand championships in Canada, then you're going to get five draws in your province's draw. Now, it'll be there four draws. There's four provinces, provinces in Canada. So, we'll be doing, so possibly, four teams out of Canada can qualify. And that doesn't include the automatic bids. Automatic bids are their own. We're going to get four people in the draw from Canada. The automatic bids are automatically in. They're not counted in the draw. They're not... So if you get an auto bid for your state, that doesn't mean that they won't be drawn. They will be drawn. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing for Europe. One GC, name a team, European country. Now, every country will be drawn, and one team will come as a draw from every European country. Now, if you get a team in Europe, that gets six grand championships, they're automatically in the U.S. Barbecue Association Invitational World Championship. So, one, great, one GC, if you win five GCs, you'll get five draws into the European country's draw. So, you know, Germany, Norway, Finland, Netherlands, Britain, uh, Spain, France, Italy, uh, Austria. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different countries in Europe. So, now, this same principle goes for the Asian countries, for the African countries, and for the Brazilian countries, uh, South American countries. Uh, we want no nation is, you don't have to prove you can cook the four categories. We'll actually let you cook whatever you want at your barbecue championship and still qualify but the whole kicker is when you come over here now it's going to be the four category contest you have to be aware of that so when you come on over here you need to learn what the four categories are on barbecue superstars and we'll go ahead and uh, allow you in so it's a new day it's a new world championship 
uh, for barbecue competition. It's a new setup of a structure. Now, all this will be live. We're going to do the draw live. We're going to do the competition live. We're going to do the results live. Everything in our world championship will be done live. So, uh, there won't be any question as to what happened now. The kind of receptacle we use to put the names in will probably be more of a professional bag with a rubber piece you can't even see you stick your hand in kind of thing like you use on game shows I just had this pot today so that's the only reason I used it so it won't be like you can look in there and see anything uh, we'll have it we're in a bag where you can't see it and we might not necessarily use these tags we may uh, we may have tickets that are numbered for that state so nobody can tell the difference in anything the way it won't be won't be like one will get stuck on top and it can so we'll, we'll have different tags so it'll be a very professional setup situation so that's the way it's going to happen that's the way it's going on at the u.s barbecue association get your contest into the u.s barbecue invitational world championship and get on legit ground get on television and let this let this thing get on national tv that's what we're after all right this is daryl from the u.s barbecue association we'll see you next time the real champions in barbecue deserve to be recognized. We're setting up the U.S. Barbecue Association Invitational World Championship to find the real champions in barbecue. Sign your contest up today and let's take it all the way to national television. It's all up to you. It's set up. Let's go.